Today we're going to talk about menstruating while you're in the boundary waters. This is something that half the population probably has never really thought about, but being in the wilderness does mean that menstruating is a little bit different. Maybe you're a little bit curious about what products to use or what your options are while you're in the boundary waters. Maybe you don't know how to dispose of your feminine products. You just want a little bit more information and some tips to prepare yourself for your boundary waters trip when you have your period. I've been in the exact same situation. What happened was I avoided swimming because I didn't want to run out of tampons. I wasn't super prepared. I didn't know what to do with the waste from my feminine products. I didn't know if they go on the latrine, if they don't, and there are some different things that I've learned along the way from being in the boundary waters a lot of times with my period and I figured it's time to share what I've learned along the way with other people so that you could have a better experience in the boundary waters. There are many different options of course to use while menstruating and I'm going to go through a bunch of the different options and some information or things to keep in mind if you decide to use that specific product while camping in the boundary waters. One period product that many women use are tampons. Of course, if you are most comfortable using tampons, then maybe that's what you should use while you're camping. The thing to keep in mind when using tampons in the boundary waters is that tampons do not go in the latrines. Just like you wouldn't put a tampon in the toilet and flush it, you shouldn't put a tampon in the open latrine, even though they're not flushable, because tampons do not disintegrate well and they end up being harmful for the environment. So what you do is any tampons you pack into the boundary waters, whether they are used or not, you need to pack those out of the boundary waters with you. So how do you pack out used tampons in a easy way? Something I've learned along the way from other people, you can take a Ziploc baggie, take duct tape and go around the outside of the baggie so that it's got some structure to it and also so that it's not see-through. And then you put your used tampons inside of that duct tape Ziploc baggie, seal it, and then when you leave the boundary waters, you take that with you and pack it out and put it into the garbage as you exit the boundary waters. I think tampons are a great option for camping and backpacking in the boundary waters, but there are many other options. Another option that you can use while camping in the boundary waters is pads. A lot of people also use pads all the time. The thing to keep in mind with pads is that uh, there are different types of pads so you actually can get reusable pads that you wash between uses and you can get the single use pads that I think most people are familiar with. The single use pads, again just like tampons, we don't put those in the latrine. Bring your duct tape ziplock bag, seal it up with your dirty pads inside and pack those out with you. If you're going to bring reusable pads, you should probably think through ahead of your trip whether you are going to wash them while camping or if you are going to pack them out with you and then wash them at home. You can clean them while you're out and camping if you would like to. Bring the soap that you usually use to do that and maybe practice hand washing them ahead of time to see if you're comfortable doing that. And make sure we're not washing them in the lake. We always want to take the water away from the lake or river or stream and wash it where you are away from the water source so that the soap doesn't get back to the water and uh, harm the water. Another option are menstrual discs. Menstrual discs are usually these thin discs that you actually put inside of yourself and they catch the blood. They can be a little bit messy when taking them out. Personally, I have never used these while camping, but it is an option. And if you are going to use them and you have it before, definitely practice before you go camping with any of these options. Always practice using these items before you go camping so that when you are camping, it's not your first time with this product and you don't necessarily know how it works that well for your body and you don't want to be frustrated and uncomfortable using a product while you're camping in the wilderness. It's so much better if you've used it at least for a couple of months beforehand. With the menstrual discs, they are great for when you want to go swimming. They are awesome products. I know a lot of people really like them. If you have ever used menstrual discs while camping, let us know in the comments how it went, what it's like, and maybe some tips that you have. Another option is a menstrual cup. So a lot of times these are called Diva Cups. That is a brand. There are also Luna Cups. There are different options as well. Oftentimes those are silicone and they are cups that you put inside of yourself. It catches the blood and then when you remove that from your body, you can dispose of the blood, wash it, and oftentimes they are reusable. Make sure you read your box and you know about the care and things like that. 
What I typically do when using a menstrual cup while camping is between uses, I do wash it, usually with soap and water, away from the water source, or I even boil it usually at least once a day while I'm camping to make sure that it's nice and sanitary. And I boil it in my regular pot that I cook with because if it's boiling water, it's clean. But if you aren't comfortable doing that, make sure you bring something that you can clean your menstrual cup in. Menstrual cups are awesome also for if you want to go swimming. They're great for the environment, reusable, definitely an awesome option. But you do want to try using it before you go camping. Don't try it for the first time while you're camping. There are different sizes and some, some of these cups are great for certain people and not that great for others. So definitely feel it out ahead of time. Another product that you can use for when you have your period while camping are period underwear. Period underwear are not bulky like you would expect. They're actually pretty nice. With period underwear, you are going to want to think ahead again. Are you going to wash these while you're camping or are you going to pack them out dirty and wash them at home? If you're going to wash them while camping, same with the reusable pads. Think of how you're going to do that. What are you going to bring to wash with? And don't forget to bring those things. If you're going to pack it out, use that duct tape Ziploc bag or whatever you prefer to pack those out with. Period underwear are not swimmer friendly, so if you like to go swimming in the boundary waters, then they might not be the perfect option for while you're doing that. I think that period underwear are also awesome to pair with another option. For example, you like to use tampons or a menstrual cup, then period underwear can be awesome if you have a heavy flow just for a little bit extra protection. But there's also the option to not use any product. Some people, especially recently, it's been more and more popular to free flow, to not use any product, to just let your body naturally flow. And many women find this to be empowering. If it's not for you, don't do it. If it is, do it. Why not? Just make sure to choose what's best for your own body and your own situation. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments. If you have any advice to share with us, also share that in the comments so we can all kind of learn. Bring more tampons than you think you'll need. Bring something to clean your reusable products with. Try your product before you go camping and do what's best for your own body.